In fact, I'm going to keep that video clip on my phone. So next time some militant vegan is in my face, I can show it to them and go, why are you lecturing me? You fucking Nazi. I'm doing this video on the fly. I've downloaded a few clips and watched them twice, so this could go either way. But last night, I went to watch some live music at a local venue. There were five bands performing, and I have to say all five were outstanding. But among the five, one is my favourite band. Not my favourite local band, my favourite rock band, my favourite British band, my favourite fucking band. From right here in Staffordshire, Jess's Divide. Not only three of the best musicians I've ever seen perform, but also three of the nicest guys you could ever hope to meet. My band, Athena's Revenge, wouldn't exist. No, it might exist, but I wouldn't be a member had it not been for JD, who, when they learned I was getting back into playing guitar, would drag me up on stage at their gigs in front of hundreds of people to build up my confidence. However, at the gig, there were a number of gentlemen, young gentlemen, dressed as younger ladies. But these trans women, they weren't hurting anyone. That's absolutely fine. But nor were they fooling anyone, because... I'm not tall, but I'm not short. I'm a little over average height. I'm five foot 11. It is very rare I have to look up to talk to a woman. And when I look up to talk to a woman, it's even rarer that she has five o'clock shadow. But one of the bands came on and the crowd went mental. A mosh pit ensued, which then became a circle pit. And one of the trans women dived into that. Now, if I'd been 18 years old, I would have got stuck in. But now I'm 46, so I thought, sod that, I'll step back and watch. But it struck me, if you're a man trying to pass yourself off as a woman, jumping into a mobile war zone is the least convincing thing you could possibly do. No one was thinking, look at that delicate feminine flower jumping into the air to elbow a guy in the face. That's the first time I've ever seen a transvestite in a mosh pit. And that's the theme of this video. Things which are rather strange. So let's begin. Pregnant people, only women can get pregnant. That is false. People who are assigned female at birth can get pregnant. There are plenty of men and non-binary friends who have a uterus. Trans men and non-binary friends can make babies if they have a uterus. And if you can't sit with that, check your transphobia. I've said this before and I'll say it again. No one is assigned female or male at birth. Our sex or gender, because I don't play the fucking word games, happens at conception. Human beings can change sex. Half of the human race did, including myself, because all embryos are female. But a few weeks after conception, depending on the sperm, some of us become male. So the idea that our gender is assigned at birth is nonsensical, because if that were the case, when an expectant mother goes to have a scan, the doctor would have to say, I can't tell you if you're having a boy or a girl. We have to wait until the moment of birth. In fact, it's 2024. We can't tell then either. We have to wait until the child goes to primary school, and then the morbidly obese teacher with the rainbow earrings, the blue hair, and the septum piercing will tell us what it is. So the playing with words doesn't really convince anyone. Saying that it's not just women who can get pregnant, okay, I'll say it's only females who can get pregnant, and the dictionary definition of a woman is an adult human female. Check and mate. But it strikes me, the trans men and non-binary females who get pregnant, surely that's got to be through artificial insemination. No sane man would stick his dick in one of those things. For the next clip, let's do more on gender. Actually, I'll rephrase the way I say that for the person in the clip. Let's do more on gender. Woman does not always mean you are female. The word woman is a social construct, meaning that that is something you identify as. All right. With that being said, you cannot be born a woman. You cannot be born a man. That is decided when you are an adult. All right. Here goes another one. 
You can be born male or female, boy or girl. But sometimes the identification the doctor assigns you is not always what your gender is going to be. Guys, we need to stop. That bloke shouldn't be worried about gender. It looks like he should be more worried about looking for saber-toothed tigers and raising a hunting party to track down a woolly mammoth. David Attenborough would have a fucking field day with that guy. Because I know some people, they do the DNA ancestry thing and they find out that like a quarter of 1% of their DNA is Neanderthal. That guy looks like he's 98% Neanderthal. That is the missing link. Because thousands of years ago, Homo sapiens and Neanderthals existed at the same time and would interbreed. And then we killed them. We fucked them and then we wiped them out. Which is something that still goes on with some men and goats in the Middle East. He says that no one is born a man or a woman, and that's correct. We're born as a baby girl or a baby boy. We then become a girl or a boy, and then a woman or a man. I thought this was fairly basic common knowledge. But it's the manipulation of words to try and prove a point, which again, doesn't really make sense. This guy is the classic case of someone who is fugly, if you don't know that term, fugly, fuck ugly, with no personality, who assumes therefore he must be a different gender. Next up, we'll see a celebrity, Rihanna, in a desperate attempt to remain relevant, trying to promote an underwear brand. And he designed some boxer briefs that both men and women and non-binary people of all um, gender appropriations and the pronouns, everyone is included. I didn't want this to be boxers are for men. I think what happened there is Rihanna said that boxers shouldn't just be for men. And then she panicked as something in her brain clicked. And she thought, shit, you can't just say there are men and women anymore. You need the alphabet bullies, the TQ cult, those for whom identity is anything. And she's terrified of being cancelled, even though we all know that in the LGBTQIA+, after the LGB, the rest of it is just made up identities. Now, in a seamless segue, Rihanna is an African-American woman. Here's another one. So this might be confusing for some people. So, like, I use he, him pronouns, right? But I don't identify as a man. But I'm trans. I'm trans non-binary. And I feel dysphoric about my body sometimes, like my curves and my butt. But at the same time, I like my boobs. Like, that's fine. Is it just me? Or does that scream attention-seeking? A woman using he, him pronouns who doesn't identify as a man. She says she's trans non-binary. That makes no sodding sense. You cannot be transitioning from one gender to another and also be non-binary, therefore having no gender. And she talks about dysphoria. I severely doubt she has real gender dysphoria. That is a horrible psychological condition. She doesn't like her butt, but she likes her boobs. I suspect her dysphoria is she's a bit tubby. What you should do, love, is eat a salad and go for a walk. But as is usually the case, she has a massive septum piercing. Has anyone checked this? Does having a massive piece of metal in the front of your nose interfere with the electrical signals coming from the brain? Now, today is a very warm day. It's important to stay hydrated. I'm on this quest to dump out any water that gets trapped in the plastic because once it's trapped in these plastic bottles, we now have lost it basically forever. I have no idea what's going on there. Once we've bottled water, we've lost it forever. Um, on a warm day like today, the opposite is true. Because for those who don't know, in the Western world, we keep our water, our drinking water, the water that comes out of our taps. If you're watching in the New World, you call them a faucet or a faucet. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But anyway, you turn the thing and the water comes out. 
That water comes from a reservoir, which is like a really big bottle without a top on it. So when the sun shines, the water evaporates and there's less of it. That woman doesn't understand the rain cycle. Also, I doubt she understands that for most of us, the water we drink has been through other people already. Sadly, for most of us, pure drinking water is just purified piss. There's one clip left and I'm going to enjoy it. Everyone says they need to be a little more clear that not all vegetarians are racists. And so I'm going to be very, very clear. If you are a white person and you are practicing vegetarianism or veganism and you have not studied this, this is the first time you've heard of this or you've heard of this before, but you haven't gone and educated yourself, then you have built racism and white supremacy into your everyday life. I have no idea what that woman is talking about, but fuck me, am I going to go along? this video with that crow in the background? I'm doing this video today on the fly, and I uh, fucked it up. The reason I'm doing it on the fly, I'll be honest, is Mrs. Disgruntled is away for the weekend, and uh, for any gentleman watching, we know what it means when we have the house to ourselves. And I fell into the porn vortex, rather than making notes. And for those of you who don't know, the porn vortex is when you think, I'll go on Pornhub for half an hour, and suddenly four days have elapsed before, but no one is assigned female at birth or male at birth. I've fucked it up again. In a thing, some people find out they're like, point bollocks. Uh, Rihanna has just panicked. She thought, box, we're going to fuck that up as well. What's going on there? The idea that if we bottle water, then we're going to 